Well, let's think Halloween for a minute. It is spooky season. We're ready to celebrate it. Jacob Morris volunteered to do this for us today. He's live at the Fort Abraham Lincoln Ooh, Haunted Fort, yeah. which opens tonight, right, Jacob? Yeah, Monica and Kevin, we are here with Matt Shannondor, the executive director of the Mandan Progress Organization at the Haunted Fort at Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park. Thanks for joining me, Matt. And are you excited to kick off this uh, new season of the Haunted Fort tonight? Oh, yeah, we were really excited. We've been doing a lot of work. And, uh, yeah, it's always a fun time, the first opening weekend, to kind of kick in and uh, kick off the Halloween season. So tonight's a little bit more geared towards the kids, but then what's your schedule like for the rest of October? Yeah, so tonight we have Spookless Night, which is for the younger kids. We don't put any actors into the scenes. It gets people out to kind of check out the, the sights and sounds of the Haunted Fort. And then tomorrow night we kick off the full event, and that runs every Friday and Saturday through the rest of the month. So we're just in one of the buildings here at Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park, but you take over multiple buildings around here. What can we expect when people come out to the Haunted Fort, and what are some new things this year? Yeah, no, the Haunted Fort is a, a multi-haunted house attraction. Um, so right now we're in the uh, we're in Jack Attack, which is a mini haunt as you kind of enter into the event. And then we've got the uh, Custer House, which is our uh, house of the lichen whispers. And so we're kind of got a werewolf theme going on there. And then we've got our Carnival of Nightmare. I don't think that needs an explanation of what, <laughs> what's going to happen there. And then we've got the Labyrinth of Darkness, which is our, our kind of our dark, um, kind of mystical swamp type of haunted house down in the barracks. That's our kind of our biggest kind of uh, uh, building. So we've got four different haunted houses plus a plethora of other activities going on um, all season long. And a lot of setup goes into this, a lot of work behind the scenes, and we appreciate you joining us here, Matt. Uh, on First News at Four, talking about the Haunted Fort, you can find out more information online. And I'm excited to come out and enjoy the attraction here, get into that spooky season, guys, as we go through October. We'll send it back to you in the studio, Monica and Kevin. All right, do you like spooky stuff? Um, you know, things like that are kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I want to know if Jacob's wife, who is actually, she could hear us, or we, we, we could hear her in our ear. Are, uh, Reggie, are you scared? of these kind of things yes yeah. she just said yes not a fan yeah. so Jacob likes it Reggie does not so yeah I don't like things that jump out at me my wife hates it hates it doesn't but, even but like I'm her sure own shadow fun. I am sure it's fun for this different and tonight it's for the kids you know or it's spookless night spookless yeah I might be able to handle that yeah yeah, yeah up, that's, up that's everyone's a, alley yeah, right that would be the fun thing <laughs>